the ground's the root, right? Now, the thing that your teeth live in, what do you call a gum in dentist speak? Gingiva. Let's do number five on that model. What's five made out of? Enamel. Enamel. Good. What is six made out of? Dentin. Dentin. Very good. What do you call eight? Yeah, the pulp cavity officially is 8. The root canal is 8A. So they're both the same thing. But this is just the cavity, this is the canal. So a root canal in a dentist, he's drilling out 8A. But isn't the root in it? Yes, it's in the root. But it's just a different name. What do you call the tip of your root canal? Tip. The apical foramen. The literally tip's hole. Right? What do you think lives inside number eight? What do you call the thing inside the cavity? Pulp. The pulp. So the pulp is the stuff, the space is the cavity. This is the canal. Make sense? The only thing we left off of our tooth was the periodontal ligament. So what does periodonta mean? Around, the tooth. Around your tooth. So number seven, this little line here represents basically the periodontal ligament, what's gluing your tooth into the bone. And that'd be cementum would be the stuff. There's a poster back in the cat that has a very good tooth. Take a picture of it with your phone. But it has all these words done very, very well. Make sense on teeth? So no type, no number, no parts. Do the math. Now we're going to go and do liver and pancreas, and we'll do slide. Are good? All right. We'll do. Okay. Let me warn you ahead of time. Every liver in this room is different than every other liver in this room. If you take a picture of only one, you will fail the liver part of the quiz. Because none of them are alike, even in remotely ways. So unfortunately, you've got to take a picture of every liver and memorize them individually. You can't just say it's the thing on the right, because it won't work. So what you're going to have to do is do some logic. So what you're going to do is figure out, this is the front of the liver, all right? So let's name some part. What do you call one and two? The lobe. The lobe. So number one, which lobe is it? Right. right. The right lobe. But we call number three the thing between the lobes. Falsiform. Falsiform ligament. So that would go between the two lobes. If it's on the opposite side, it's called the round ligament. They're the same thing. Just if you flip this around, it becomes round on the back of the liver. So if I trick the liver over, right here, 508 is what was on the opposite side as falsiform. On the inside, it's called round. This would be the right. This would be the left. They just tipped it up. With me? Mm -hmm. So then you're going to find the green thing. What's 511? Gallbladder. That's the gallbladder. For all the tubing, you're going to use that as your reference point. Because here's where they vary. On this model, if you look at 512, 512 is a tube between my gallbladder and all this. So what do you call the tube that goes in and out of my gallbladder? Cystic duct. The cystic duct. We're called a cystokinin. So 512 on this model is a cystic duct. That one you want to find first when you're doing your quiz. Find the cystic duct. And the other ones will also then appear. 506 B and C are in my liver and just come out like that. They're part of the liver. So what do you call 506 A and B? Or B and C, sorry. Those are the right and left hepatic ducts. Some models only have one or the other. This one has both. Yes? Is there a different name that we should be looking for? You said cystic duct? Cystic duct. It's under gallbladder. It's under gallbladder, which is on... Next page. Right. So you have cystic duct 512. You have... Right and left hepatic ducts, 506 B and C. Look right here where my finger's pointing. What would you call that area where B and C meet together? Common. The common what? Not yet. Hepatic. Hepatic duct. So in some models, they only have the common shown. Some they only show the right or the left. This one shows all three. <coughs> So what, what number is that? Or? It's not numbered. That's the trick. But 506A is numbered. This one comes from those three and has been cut. What is 506A? The common bile duct. Common bile duct. So where life gets miserable for you, you have three different names for the same green tubes. 
Cystic duct is gallbladder tube. Hepatic duct are the liver tubes, the common vials where they meet and go down to your small intestine. So on a model of the liver, you want to get your bearings between cystic, which you want to find first, the bile is the one that's always been cut off because it goes to another organ, and then try to negotiate your way around the hepatics. Can you show us that on a model? I just can't. The bile? I just can't. I'm not sure which way you all. flipped the liver. Let me flip this over. Did you Hold flip on. it all the way over? I can try. Let it. me see. Up? How did you flip it? Uh, I just flipped it up. So was the first one we were looking at, would that have been considered anterior yes. versus posterior? This is anterior, and all I'm doing is, look, is flip this up in situ to make it look like that. Okay. It's still anatomically correct, just looking up from the bottom. I'm trying to think, I don't think I have a model on this page that actually shows them all three together. The board so boys show them all. that right there? Yes. Okay. That looks about right. So let's do some more math here. So the blue things at the bottom of the liver next to the green thing, what are those going to be? Veins. Veins, which one? Portal vein. Portal. That's the portal vein, comes in the bottom of the liver. Where would I find the hepatic vein? Here's the on the top of the liver. You can't see it, it's on the opposite side. So the portal comes in the bottom, <coughs> the hepatic comes out the top. This big blue thing here, what's that, Smarties? It's the vena cava, inferior vena cava. So as you can get the gist, you're going to have to spend a lot of time on the liver, more so than you think. Because every liver varies in how they put these pieces and color them and label them. Spend time now. <clears throat> Otherwise, life will be miserable for you. Let's do the pancreas. Much easier. The pancreas. Here's one. Find the fish bone. Think of naming a fish. What do you call this long part of a fish? Tail. A tail. What do you call the middle part of a fish? Body. A body. What do you think you call the front part of a fish? A head. What do you call this little thing right here? Neck. Well, neck would work, or also called the notch. You'll have neck or notch. You're kind of the same spot. So, what do you call the fish bone number one? The pancreatic duct. Pancreatic duct, also called the duct of Rousseau. So, then what do you call number two? Accessory duct. The accessory duct, or the duct of Santorini. So everybody will have a number one. This will be a pancreatic duct, or the major pancreatic duct. Not every model shows number two, the accessory duct. Some of the models have really crazy looking. And some have crazy looking stuff. But find the fish bone, and that's your naming the fish. Make sense? That's the pancreas. So now I'm going to just walk you through quickly the histology. That's where more pain will be. We're going to go to J-Doc. Okay, so what you want to do on all your slides is break it down for us to the tree. You want to name the organ first, and then after you know what organ it is, then break down further. If you don't know what organ it is, you're just going to fail. Right? So, I'm going to randomly put a slide up there that you do not know, but we'll know what and I'm going to ask you what organ that is. You're going to say what? Please don't say small intestine, no. Don't say large intestine, don't say stomach. Say esophagus, that's what I want you to say. How do I know that's an esophagus? Because it collapses. No, that's true, but that's not what I was looking for. The layers? Simple scrub, stratified squamous. Okay, let's find our layers. The white space is what? Lumen. This is what? Mucosa. This is what? Mucosa. These are what? Adventitious. Oh. Muscularis externa, right? Adventitia. So the trick is to look at the mucosa in all these slides. What tissue is that from 231, second week of class? In your esophagus. Stratified, stratified squamous. If you see stratified squamous, the Rito effect, you know it has to be a mouth or an esophagus. Well, that sure isn't a mouth. That's going to be my esophagus. It has to protect me from the Doritos ripping their way down my esophagus. If you see stratified squamous, you're done. You know that's an esophagus and or a mouth. For multiple layers, protection on an edge. That was 231 you learned that, right? So you're going to look at the mucosa and say, that's stratified squamous, I'm an esophagus, I'm out of here. Right? It's only later that you worry about all the other stuff. So what we're going to do now, 
Okay, show you another slide. This one. Name the organ. Esophagus again. It's the same slide. Stratified, Stratified squamous epithelial tissue, non keratinized. Right? This shouldn't have been hard. Lumen, mucosa, multiple layers, flattened cells on the edge. That's esophagus. Well, I just got to tell you that. You have to look at the mucosa. So that's probably. That's mucosa, because this is submucosa here. Yeah. Right. So it's the same slide. I know which one to put on your test now. You can't figure out an esophagus. It's going to kill it. All right, now we're going to try this one. This is not an esophagus. <laughs> How do you know that's not an esophagus? No. That's not stratified squamous anything, right? In fact, if you look, that's actually like a cuboidal kind of cell. Yeah. Right? So this is going to be the stomach. The way you tell a stomach is it has these long white kind of lines with these long red things. It looks feathery, wispy, indeterminate. Those are called your gastric pits are the holes in the top. And these are your gastric glands are the things at the bottom. That's where all the secretions come in and out of for your stomach. If you look at these long kind of feathery stripes, that's a stomach. So it's not stratified squamous. Right? It just looks like kind of this weird kind of abstract looking thing. Right? So the, the pits formally are the top part of each one. So I would argue these are the pits. Down here, where they get darker, these are the glands. That's where you're making this stuff. You can't really easily see it in line on every slide. So but the, the pits, pits are the top, the glands at the bottom. But the pits is the space between it or yes. the, the purple? The, the pits would be the white space, that's where the fluid is. So formally, the, the white area. So I'll show you another view. Alright, so here are my pits, the white areas. Here are my glands, these areas that are darker down here. This is a stomach, looks like feathers. Wispy, bamboo kind of thing. Make sense? So it's not an esophagus. Alright. So now let's make it a little difficult for you. I'm going to turn that off. <coughs> that is also a stomach. Mm -hmm. Just a different region of this, the pyloric region, but you don't have to know that. But how would I know that's still not an esophagus? It's not stratified stomachs. I can still see the, the white lines going down and sort of the the little circles down here, those are still my pits and glands. They just look a little different in this region of the stomach. So which, which are the glands, sorry? The glands would be basically everything about here. Like the purple, the darker purple? Yeah, the, the okay. darker area at the bottom. Okay. The pits would be the openings at the top. You're looking for this kind of feathery linearity, for lack of a better way to phrase it. Okay. Keep that picture in your head. So focus that, put that in your head. Now you're going to see the big difference in the next slide. You can't miss this one. You can. What do you see? It's a kidney. It's a kidney, but not. I see goblet cells. And what do I see here? What does that look like? Looks like, Looks like fingers, right? Yeah. Those, that's a small intestine, because intestines have villi, which are fingers. <laughs> these are fingers, these are not the feathers. So if it actually looks like there's big space around them, that's a small intestine. So a small intestine has fingers, a stomach has feathers. Here's a stomach, feathery, here's a small intestine, fingery. Sense? So they have a similar anatomy, but they're very different how they look. What is the blue on this? Those are the goblet cells, in this case. These ones? Yeah. Those are the goblet cells. Those are the distinction also. Right. Okay. So they may be clear, they may be dark, but they're there. So let's figure out what we have. So we have our villi. 
So muc lumen would be the white, mucosa, submucosa, the muscular.